Hello everybody, welcome to another review. This time we are reviewing King Creole, 1958. Gave this movie a rating of 4, saw it in 2012. King Creole, starring Elvis Presley. In King Creole, Elvis, who was actually 23 oh, years old, is a high school dropout, falls for a woman who is three times his age, is wanted by a desperate lunatic girl, finds his life in danger in the hands of nobody other than Walter Matthew, and is saved by a half-wit mute. You know, I like Walt, but he's better in comedies. This silly picture has a little bit of too many musical numbers, and Elvis's face looks puffier than in Jailhouse Rock. His acting is a lot better in the other one too, because he's a fan of James Dean and Marlon Brando. In King Creole, he looks inflexible and stiff. There isn't much of a plot to speak of either, it's the same old story. The idea of a student being denied of his high school diploma because of a fight is ludicrous. And then the idea of Danny Fisher, I know it's Elvis, but let's be realistic here, suddenly becoming a singing sensation with no practice is also ludicrous. If he has done practice at home, then there should be a different reaction from his father and sister, knowing his musical talent. The dying lines of one particular person at the end of the film are so hysterical and cringeworthy that that part pretty much sums up the whole film for me. I had expected a lot more from Michael Cortese, but this is disappointing. By the way, Elvis had said for years that King Creole was his favorite film. Of course, that's because he never saw Jill's house rock, which is thoroughly better and remains the most iconic film of its terribly mismanaged career. All in all, King Creole is kind of boring. King Creole is king boring. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time in another review. Bye-bye.